Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today's video is sponsored by a company called Awatrol, and they make a wide variety of indoor and outdoor finishing products to enhance the, the projects that we make. Uh, and if you're interested about learning about a new level of finishing, you'll want to stay tuned. Now, when it comes to products for finishing our projects, there's basically two options. One of them is a film finish, uh, varnish type products. Uh, the other is actually oils that soak into the wood. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So the difference between a film finish and an oil finish is this. A film finish lays on top of the wood. So it tends to mask things like special features, figure, grain. When it comes time to redoing a film finish, you have to scrape it off or sand it off or use chemicals to get it off because you can't coat over top of a product that's already at the end of its useful life. Now the difference with an oil finish is that it actually soaks into the wood so it tends to enhance the look of grain or figure, it makes it actually look better. And when it comes time to recoating an oil finish, you don't have to scrape it off, you just need to clean the surface and you can go ahead and recoat it and that then revitalizes the wood, even makes it look better. So that's the big difference with an oil finish. So today I'm going to do a couple of quick demos for you. Uh, this one is a teak oil, they call it teak olea, and it's for indoor things. We're going to use this on the live edge top that I've been working on, very excited about that. Uh, the second one is for outdoor things, decks and furniture, things like that. Uh, it's called Textral. Uh, we're going to use this on a chair and you'll see what that looks like. Uh, pretty amazing stuff. Now before I start applying the teak olea, I'm going to tell you what I've done for preparation on this natural edge top. First of all, I took it to a commercial cabinet maker who has a very wide 24 inch belt because I wanted this table to be absolutely flat. You don't want a table, particularly a coffee table that you're sitting in front of, that might have little scoops of sanding area on it. So I've had it professionally sanded flat. Then I prepared the edges and I used the belt sander to clean them up and to smooth them. I also used a very fine wheel on my drill to clean out these areas. Now what I'm going to be doing, two coats of the teak olea and I'll put the first coat on then I'll wait about 15 minutes and then I'm going to come back and put on the second coat. And I'm not going to make you sit through all of these coats, but I'll just give you an idea of what they are. Okay, I've taken a moment now to stir the product and that's very important because there's a special ingredient in here that allows the teak oil to soak in deeper into the wood and that's a, a very important feature uh, of this type of product. And now I'm just going to apply it and I'm just going to carry on and put a, a, a good liberal amount on uh, and let that soak in and then we'll come back and I'll do the second coat. Well, there's the live edge piece that I was working on with the teak olea, and you can see how it popped the figure grain down here. There's a little bit of spalting up in here. It's enhanced that. There's even a bit of color. I don't know where this red came from. Um, it was under the bark, and it's, it's actually stayed there, and you can actually see it. I'll show you a close-up of it. Just really happy with the way this turned out. And there's that red coloring that runs all the way down the side of this live edge piece. I've never seen that before. It's a very unique. Now the other demonstration I want to show you is this old western red cedar deck chair. Uh, and it's been sitting outside in a back, a back part of the yard. Uh, it's been ignored. In fact, it's been forgotten about until recently. I've washed it and rinsed it and I want to show you what this product can do, how it brings it back to life. And this is called Textrol 
and it's an outdoor product and I want you to watch this. This is a, a middle oak so there's a little bit of colorant in it uh, but watch what it does to the parts that I've cleaned here. Now I've only cleaned this one rail and this arm so I'm only going to do those two pieces and I'll speed this up but you'll see what an amazing job this stuff does. It's been a couple of days since I coated this and remember all I did was clean this and put a couple of coats of Textrol on it uh, and look at you can see all the grain in the wood. Now this is a 20 year old western red cedar chair that's never had anything done to it uh, and look at how it revitalizes. I'm pretty impressed with this. Now if you're watching this video from the United Kingdom or anywhere in Europe you'll already be familiar with the product. Here in Canada and the United States, you can order the product from Amazon or from the Awatral website. And of course the article and all the links will be on the article in Woodwork Web. I encourage you to visit their website just to see all of the products that they have. I think you'll be as impressed as I was. I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.